Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're going to work on some projects for the Thrift Flip uh, collaboration. It's Third Thursday flip, Thrift Flip. Say that three times fast. Uh, first project is going to be this really cool burgundy shelf that I found. Uh, it already has the hangers on the back if you wanted to hang it or you could set it on a counter or wherever and I really like that so I picked that up for three dollars I think and then there was another dollar for this jar I loved the ribbing going around it it was so pretty and I wanted to put the two together so first thing I'm going to do is take off the stickers on the back and they have a little extra hanger on the side which was kind of in a weird spot so I did take that off and then I gave the shelf a good cleaning because I'm not going to paint it believe it or not. I don't have any burgundy paint. Uh, I need to pick some up and this actually was in good shape once I cleaned it. It was really nice. And so what I decided to do anyway was to do some crackle paint on the back of this shelf. So I'm going to use my Mod Podge and basically all I'm doing is brushing this Mod Podge onto the back of the shelf. I'm taking long strokes. I'm trying not to start and stop in the middle of anywhere. I'm trying to do long brush strokes just like if you were painting so that you could get a nice even coat of paint. That's basically what you want to do here with doing the Mod Podge for the crackle. Now I'm going to use uh, plaster because I do not have any white paint but that's okay. Uh, so I'm taking it and doing the same thing over the top. Although I did let the Mod Podge dry just for a minute I hit it with the heat gun and let it dry real quick. Uh, not completely obviously but just a little bit so it was tacky. So then I brushed the paint on and now I love this part and I always like to show it when I do this for you guys is show you the crackle that comes on. So look at all that crackling happening. I just, I just love watching it. So I'm just using my heat gun. You don't have to. You could let it just sit uh, overnight and it would crackle all on its own but I like to watch it so the next thing I'm going to do is take my sandpaper and just go over it just just lightly gently and take off anything that's lifted or loose and it just helps in the look of the distressed the distressed look of the piece anyway so it works out just fine and it also smooths out the paint a little bit so I went around the edges as well and kind of distressed the shelf too. So uh, I thought that would look really nice on it. So now I'm taking, on the jar I'm not going to do a whole heck of a lot because I really like the way it looks on its own. So I'm just going to take a little bit of jute twine and wrap it around the, the, the mouth of the jar, just the top, just a few times around. Making a cute little bow tie uh, tie for it or bow and going to put that on there as well again keeping it simple and I think it will look really cute. So we're back to the shelf and I'm going to take this rag that I have a little bit of my antique wax with a little bit of black paint and watered down and I've got that on this rag and I'm just going over the part that I crackled, actually I went over the whole thing, to just kind of distress it even more, make it look aged and older, uh, and not heavily but just a little bit around the edges. So there you go, you can see it's just been done a little bit on there. Then I have this ring of pit berries and I just put it around the top and put the jar on the shelf and a little light in there. There you go, I'll stage it for you. Project number two, we have this cute uh, picture frame 
I love the detail in the middle of it. It's metal and then the outside green part is wood. And I picked that up because I just I just loved it. I thought it was so cute. Uh, I'm going to take this bar off the back because that's where the stand used to be. And just like magic, there you go. I spray painted it with some black spray paint, the flat black uh, Rust-Oleum. And I took that bar off. I just used a um, Sawzall in my husband's vise uh, downstairs and just cut it off. And then I used the grinder to grind down the sharp spots. So now I'm taking this chicken uh, or rooster actually uh, wallpaper border that I got and I'm putting it on or I'm cutting it out to put it on top of the glass so that I can put that back into the picture frame. So I just cut it out and I wet it because it is pre-pasted and I put it on the glass and smoothed it all out. I just love this border. I think it's so pretty. I love the colors. Very primitive colors. So I noticed that the edges were trying to curl a little bit, so I did take a little bit of Mod Podge and glue down the edges where it was coming up. I am going to go over the whole piece, and you'll see that in just a second, with a coat of Mod Podge to seal it in. That's pretty much dry, almost completely dry, still a little bit wet, but not too bad. And I'm going to put that right into the picture frame. There's some little slides on the back here, and you just slide that glass in. There we go. And there she is. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's beautiful all on its own the way it is. But because I grinded down the back, and there is some metal back there, and it's smooth, but I just worry about it getting up against a wall and scratching it. So I'm going to put this fabric up against the back and give it kind of a bat drop to that picture. I think it's going to look really, really pretty. So I just laid the picture frame down and, and measured and, and ripped the fabric down to the size that I needed. And just adjusting it and then I'm going to glue the top and bottom first and then each edge on the side I will do next. go I think that looks so good either way with the fabric or without I just think that's a beautiful frame so now I'm going to put a hanger on the back of that so I did that but I noticed when I flipped it over to uh, just make sure everything was all good on the front side that those nails went through where I put the hanger on so I couldn't really take the hanger out so I decided to find my rusty star and put that on there to cover up those nail marks On to project number three. I got this from Salvation Army recently for $1.99, I believe. And I really just like the board. I wasn't really interested in the welcome and the, the goose on there. But I wanted to get all this stuff off so that I could use this board for something else. So I just used my uh, heat gun to, to heat up the glue underneath and get everything off. And boy, this was a job. It took me a while. So thank goodness for editing and uh, 
being able to skip a lot of this stuff for you guys because you'd be so bored by the end of this. I started off just trying to dig it off with my nails and with my scissors. I finally went and got one of my husband's big screwdrivers and just started scraping away. I'd heat it up with the glue gun, uh, with the heat gun, and just started scraping and scraping. Finally, I got some Brake Clean for uh, WD-40 works as well. Uh, it just takes that stickiness off, and we're we have that stuff kicking around everywhere. So I just grabbed that, let it sit for a second, and then I just kind of rubbed it. It took several times to get it all off, but I did get most of it off, and then what I couldn't, I sanded down. So there we go. Most of it is off there, and that's just several times of spraying and scraping and spraying and scraping. So I'm taking off the hanger that was originally on it. It was just an old piece of rope, I guess, uh, and I wasn't interested in having that on there. So this is my antique wax watered down with a little bit of black paint, chalk paint mixed in it. And unfortunately, I can't tell you how much because I've added to so many times. I've used it and added to that I don't have any idea how I mixed it. Um, I just mixed it till I was happy with it. I just take a board and tested it and went with it. So I'm going to do just part of it and then show you what it's going to look like because I think it's quite a difference once you see it wiped down. Isn't that so cool? Look at the difference between what I just did and what it came looking like. I think it's so rustic and, and uh, primitive looking. I really love it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the whole board and get that all done and wiped down. So my last haul that I did, I stopped at Hobby Lobby and I picked up an Artiste Needle Art Hanger and I decided I was going to use that on this board. It comes with two nails, or screws I mean, and they're too long to go into this board. They go out the back. So I decided to go ahead and just staple it on there and I think that worked just fine. I wanted to tell you about the collaboration that this video is for. It's the third Thursday Thrift Flip, and it's every third Thursday of the month. Uh, there will be a link down in the description to both of the hosts, which is Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Elizabeth at Southern G. Moore Gals. And there will also be a playlist for all the awesome creators that have joined this collaboration. So please make sure you go down and check out their channels. I went ahead and painted the staples so that they were black and blended in with everything. And now I'm wrapping jute around the top of the board. And I'm also going to go ahead and do around the bottom as well. I'm also going to replace the rope that was in the top to hold the board. I'm going to use my mechanics wire. I get this right from Tractor Supply uh, and I use this a lot in my, in my crafts. So I'm just giving it a few twists on one end and then I'll go around to the other side and snip it and I'm going to do a little twist up above where you hang it from and then I will also do another twist uh, from on the other side where it's going to hold so that it will stay in the hole. The tea towel is from the same section in Hobby Lobby. It was a two pack and I got it on reduced price for $1.99 for the two. So I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And also give it a thumbs up if you really like what you've seen here today. I do have a link down in the description to my Etsy shop and most of my projects that I do here will be there for sale for anyone that would be interested in them. 
so please go over and check that out as well. And don't forget to check out the playlist and the hosts of this collaboration. They will be down in the description as well. I'm folding in some pit berries into the tea towel and tying it off at the bottom with some burlap ribbon to finish it off. What do you think friends which one did you like did you have a favorite or did you like them all i'll pop a playlist in here if you're interested in checking out some of my other thrift flips and i thank you for watching have a great day